Welcome to International EFT Tapping Month 2022. With us for today's tap along session is the fabulous Robin Bilazarian. She is not only an EFT practitioner, but a master trainer. Welcome, who's been doing it for many years. Welcome, Robin. Thank you. I'm happy to be here today. Now, today the title is Tapping the pain brain. What are you bringing to us today? And what are we going to be tapping on? And why? Okay. okay. Um, so I'm also an LCSW. I'm also a, a diplomat in clinical energy psychology. And I've actually been doing this for 25 years. I go across the country taking down pain out of participants, out of the audience. And the reason that I do it is prior to uh, prior to COVID, I actually thought the biggest problem in the country was the um, opioid epidemic, and that is pushed by pain. And so I saw this done about five, six years ago, and I've just incorporated it. And I wanna show you today how to do the tapping, most of you know already, but what's different about what I'm doing is I'm adding metaphors, and I'm gonna show you how to add those, and we'll tap and we'll use a metaphor. And you'll see what I'm saying, because what I mean by the pain brain is that the amygdala is a pain center. And when you add metaphors while you're doing the tapping, it goes, it's a it's a picture that goes to both sides of your head and goes straight up to the amygdala. So I'm not changing your injury, but what I'm changing is the way that pain is recorded and tranquil, making the brain more tranquil so that the pain is calmer. Absolutely. So whenever you're ready, you lead us through a round of tapping and, and we'll get started. Okay. So this is really not hard. You're going to ask your participants three questions. The first one's the hardest one. If you could describe your pain, how would you use that? How would you describe it in the metaphor? Okay. That's the first question. I'll go back to that one. That's the hardest one. The second one is what is the emotion of the pain? It's usually anger or some form of it. And the third one is, what is the pain saying to you? So I'm going to use a, 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 someone that I've used in a demo. She was a pain cl a cancer client who had a big chunk of her rear taken out. And anytime she could not sit straight. And so when I asked her to describe the pain in that area, she described it as felt like it was like an anvil with weights just carrying her down. Pain was angry and the pain was saying, I'm here to stay. So we're going to use her. So follow me, by the way, but you fill out your own questions. Wow. How would you describe your pain if you could, if it was a picture? And this is what we would do. So on the side of the hand, okay, um, you would Robin, begin. Can I just slip in and say, you can listen for those of you who are tapping, please know that we take responsibility for our own actions at all times. And so if at any time you want to stop tapping or you want to check in with a medical or health professional, do that. Feel free to do so and feel free to not tap and just watch. Thank you. Yeah. Robin. Yeah. And let me, let me also add, uh, don't do this with new pain. This is for chronic pain that you have been diagnosed and treated with. Once your doctor says you're a pain management client, then come back here. Okay. So I actually don't tap if you don't mind. I use touch and breathe, uh, which is another way that you can do, uh, that you can do this. So this here is, um, uh, even though I have pain in my rear, and it feels like an anvil with heavy chains and I'm angry. My pain is angry and it's saying, I'm here to stay. I'm a, I'm a good person and I love, I deeply love and accept myself. We're gonna do that three times, even though I have pain in my rear and it feels like an anvil that's hang, that's got chains on it. Um, I, uh, and it's angry um, and it's, and it's, and it feels like it's, um, um, here to stay. I'm a good person and I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And one more time, this pain in my rear that feels like a heavy anvil and my pain is angry. My pain is very angry and it feels like, um, it feels like um, it's here to stay. I'm a good person and I deeply and completely love and accept myself. We're then going to go through EFT twice. Um, this pain in my rear it feels like an anvil. It feels like a very heavy anvil. This is called touch and breathe. You hold it for one breath. 
under and the eye. You don't eye. mind if I tap though while you hold, right? No, not at all. Perfect. Nope, not at all. Um, this anvil, it's very heavy and it's weighing me down. And my pain is very angry. And it's saying to me, I'm here to stay. This pain in my rear, it feels like an anvil. It's weighing me down and it's very angry. My pain is very angry and it's saying to me, I'm here to stay. This pain in my anvil, this pain in my rear feels like an anvil and it's saying I'm here to stay and it's very angry. This pain is angry. It feels like an anvil and it's saying I'm, I'm here to stay. Um, one of the things that I didn't do and I should have done is ask you zero to 10, how bad is your pain? And you would think about it for a few seconds and tell me it was perhaps a five. And then after we go through that one round, just that's a whole round, we would then ask, where is it now? And it's probably a three, probably came down two. You just repeat it, find your new metaphor, find your new emotion and find your, the new message that the pain is telling you. And with that, you can take down very significant pain, chronic pain, after you've looked at it from, uh, after a doctor has looked at it. And hopefully you'll use this. Thank you. And you know what? We have what's called borrower's benefits. Borrower's benefits. And so borrowing benefits. <laughs> I, borrowing benefits. I was I was tapping and touching as you were. And I just I felt tingles. And yeah. so if you're if you're just following along with International EFT Tapping Month day by day and you're tapping just for funsies, too, or for the benefits, maybe you feel tingly, too. Please do let us know. You can send us an email at info at international tapping month dot com. And we are going to have in the information section below this video or somewhere on the page Robin's information. But Robin, do you want to share a quickly yeah. your website do and things where people can find you? Um, I do have a website. My website is Robin, EFT.net. Robin, EFT.net. Yeah, please, please contact me. I'm happy to share this. Um, I've been doing uh, tapping for 25 years. And I, my husband says, I don't have a career. I have a crusade. And I think tapping belongs everywhere. And I'm grateful because I'm licensed to be able to take it into mainstream mental health. And I do and I train mainstream mental health and school personnel. Absolutely. And, you know, the thing is, Robin has been doing this for so long. She's a long term contributor of ITM. So thank you for coming yet another year, Robin. Thank you. I enjoyed it. Bye bye, everyone. See you in the next day. Bye bye.